Hey everyone, today I'll be reviewing Dino Frontier, a light, real-time strategy for PlayStation VR. This game was developed by Uber Entertainment, the same ones who made Wayward Sky for PSVR. Further back, they've made Monday Night Combat and Planetary Annihilation, the latter of which was actually a spiritual successor to Total Annihilation, one of my favorite RTSs on PC. Full disclosure, before going into my review, the developers did send me a review copy of the game, so a huge thank you to Uber Entertainment for that, but as always I'll be completely honest about any complaints I had with the game and any bugs that came up during my playthrough. Dino Frontier is all based around building up your town in a Wild West environment, but with the addition of dinosaurs also roaming around. It's a unique twist that I'm really surprised I haven't seen before. I never even thought about how cool Cowboys vs. Dinosaurs could be, and now I'm a little disappointed that there really aren't any examples of it, other than this game and a movie from 1969 called The Valley of Guanji. At least that's all that really came up with some searching. Anyway, it's a nice twist that, along with its cartoony and vibrant style, really helped this game stand out. I think this is one of the better looking games that I've seen on PSVR. The game has a lot of polish for a VR title, with a very handy height slider always available to your left above the settings button, something I really appreciated and wish more VR games had. I think Fantastic Contraption would have benefited a lot from having this, rather than having to load up that separate island to rotate and change your in-game height. Uh, in Dino Frontier, you can quickly rotate by simply holding the move buttons on both controllers, and to move around the map, you only hold one controller's move button at a time and pull or push yourself around the map. It all feels really great and becomes second nature after a few minutes. Now, as far as bugs go, I only ran into two during my entire playthrough. Once, a settler was stuck in a hurt animation, constantly asking for help. It was sort of funny since he was still able to move around and work just fine and I was able to fix it by having him ride a tame dino and then pulling him back off of it. Nothing game breaking there. However, the other bug I encountered was after finally taming a T-Rex, I went to inspect him and the game died. I had a very bizarre and trippy looking view and the game was frozen. I could still hear ambient sound effects, but I had to restart the game to continue. I got lucky and it had auto-saved after capturing the T-Rex just a few minutes before the crash. Uh, someone else had commented that the same thing happened to them at the same time on their end, so hopefully this is something that the devs are aware of and will be fixing quickly. You'll spend most of your time in Dino Frontier placing buildings, upgrading them, helping settlers with their needs, and working your way through taming all eight of the available dinosaurs. You can sadly only have one of each, which is a bit of a bummer for me as I was hoping for a pack of raptor buddies. Now, each dinosaur does something for your town and your villagers. For example, the Brachiosaurus waters trees so they'll regrow, while the Ankylosaurus will collect logs so you don't have to do that yourself. Uh, each one does something different, uh, except for the raptors and T-Rex. Those two are just your dino bodyguards. They are only really useful for hunting and fighting. There are nine buildings that you can place in your town, each with around two or three linear upgrades available. There's also three stands that you can place down that take you to other locations away from your town. There's the Mayor's Retreat, which takes you to a farm where you can grow crops and blow up a rock with dynamite to get gold and stone that are inside. These resources go back to your town, so it's worth heading to occasionally until you can build the next stand, which takes you to a sort of tower defense map where you'll bring settlers along with you and place them either at the mountain of gold and stone to get that back to your town, or place them on stands where they'll fire at incoming waves of the Bandit King's enemies. Now the Bandit King is the main bad guy in the game. He sends bandits to attack your town and try to steal your resources every day or so, and you fight the Bandit King and his group directly in the wave defense maps. In the third and final stand you can unlock and build, the, this one takes you to another tower defense map where you'll beat the Bandit King and finish the game. The credits will roll, you'll get a cute song about what a great mayor you were, and then you're sent back to the main menu. You can either start a new game or hit continue to return to your town where you can play endlessly, but unfortunately there isn't a lot to do once you've finished all objectives and tamed every dinosaur. There's a few trophies to go after, like finding the hidden easter egg looking things that are filled with resources, but it honestly took me only about six and a half hours to get every single trophy in the game and 100 percent it. Sure, I can keep messing around with my town, but every building is fully upgraded and I don't have anything to work towards. There aren't any other locations to build a town in either. 
I'd love to see the developers add in more replayability in the future with more towns and more dinosaurs to capture. Uh, anything, really. Because this is a game I thoroughly enjoyed all the way to the, until the end, and I want to have a reason to revisit it, other than just to see my cute dino buddies and listen to the catchy music and the narrator chat and sing between loading areas. So, it's a bit shorter than I had hoped, but I think if you enjoy strategy games and are looking for a very polished one on PSVR, then this is definitely worth your time. If you're not into RTSs, then I think this one is simple enough to easily jump into, but perhaps wait until it's discounted. I think $20 would have been a much more appropriate price. Hopefully Uber Entertainment plans to support the game and we'll see more of Dino Frontier in the future, because I need more cowboys and dinosaurs in my life now. Once again, a very big thank you to Uber Entertainment for giving me the chance to review their game, and thank you everyone for checking out my review of Dino Frontier. See you all next time! Die.